Hey Libra, welcome to your general reading here in January. This is a general and will not resonate with everybody unfortunately, but I do personal readings and my email is in the description box as always. Okay guys, if you're new, welcome, please subscribe. Remember in the description box you can check out the name of the decks I'm using also, okay? So we have children your love life may be being affected by children libra okay let's see maybe a new one's on the way um maybe you can't get a sitter uh <laughs> we'll see uh, maybe it's grown children that are affecting your love life right now Past life relationship you have known each other before. This can go for your children as well. Um, you know, children are <laughs> growing pains. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it, it could be big issues with your children. Um, but it could just be uh, some people haven't got children, want children, could be an issue. So there's lots of things there because it is a general reading. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking your step the steps you're guided to take could be that you've known the person since childhood and um you know you've had this past relationship in this life also as well as a past one so you can feel like the connection is just so strong unbreakable the pull to them it could be a karmic relationship or some sort of other divine relationship we will see as um the cards come out but it shows um, you are a soulmate wanting to make the effort now. So let's see. So, Knight of Wands. Yeah, somebody's rushing in with a love offer here. Um, Ace of Cups there, Three of Swords under that, and the Magician waiting on good news there. Okay, so, yeah. Seems like it could be an, um, a Knight of Wands who ended a relationship with you very quickly, um, left you heartbroken, holding, you know, your cup, returned your love to you, um, sort of like unrequited love. Um, now that person is rushing back in to make an effort here and some sort of offer. So let's see what sort of offer they are making. Ten of Wands, okay. Um, so it's definitely showing that this cycle with this person is not over. Tens are about endings of cycles, but it's reversed. So it's like the burden or, you know, the weight of this relationship, you're not over yet or they're not over yet. Uh, maybe even finding it difficult to let go um, with the Ten of Wands reversed, okay? Um, the answer always in that case is to let the burden go. Don't worry about if they will come back, when they will come back or, you know, um, yeah, um, the hermit here. If you're worried about those sort of things, it's like probably why it was difficult to let go. Um, you was taking all the work and, you know, putting in all the effort. And I think you just probably felt like you could carry it on that way. Um, but you needed this time out to see um, that, you know, regain yourself here, you know, take a look at yourself. Could be an indication of, you know, the soulmate mirroring back to you, um, lessons you needed to learn as well. But I feel like you needed to take a look at yourself and you could only do this on your own. I feel like you would have kept carrying the weight for them if they didn't leave. Um, but it's like still difficult to let go of this connection. So you're in this hermit mode. You're choosing to be um, on your own rather than maybe entering into a new relationship and it's because of this pull um, but this person is coming back here to make an effort you've just got to be able to understand that you're not supposed to carry all the burden on your own if people cross your boundaries you know you need to step back from them not have a fear of losing them but I feel like when you're in um, this hermit mode you probably feel safer than you know putting yourself out there you probably feel like it's what you know so even if it is tough it's probably more comfortable for you so you know how they say 
um, misery loves company sort of thing. I feel like, you know, you've probably got so used to tough times that it's actually easier for you than change um, to drop the burden. You'll just keep taking on the stress. So you could have just like a lot of stress going on with your children or your family here. Um, but I feel like, you know, it may be where you're most comfortable where you're doing things and if you have not to do it could be quite difficult for you you know I feel like you want to remain busy so as we move into Aquarius season you might find it very uncomfortable actually um that's the divine forcing you to let go of the last little bit sort of things of the relationship you know little things that you're holding on to it could be your soulmate going through this as well or your children going through this finding it difficult to let go um, maybe you found it difficult if your grown children have moved home and you know you're now alone at home something like that um, but you've really got to make the effort here to let go of this burden drop the burden and look at you know things for yourself you know, it's time for you to enjoy life as well and have these positive things. Queen of Wands here and she's reversed. Um, so, yeah, it's like you're not taking action. I don't, I feel like Aquarius season um, won't be agreeable with you. You may just want to be keeping yourself to yourself at home, maybe only going out to run errands and things like that could be you not wanting to put yourself out there like I said so maybe you don't want to accept offers and things like that um this could all the, the queen of wands also can indicate a mistress so maybe you don't want to be a mistress anymore or whatever the equivalent of a male version is um you know you don't want to be you know you it's all or nothing for you here it feels like but it's like when you're giving your all, you're receiving nothing. So you've really got to think about that, right? You're not supposed to just be the one giving the all or carrying the all. And we have the devil card here reversed. So um, could be a Capricorn you're dealing with or another Virgo fire sign. Okay, um, but it seems like... Maybe there was some sort, there could have even been some sort of dark magic used here because we have the Queen of Wands and the Devil card. But I feel like somebody could have been tempted out of a relationship as well. Okay, so maybe you wasn't the third party, but, you know, maybe your partner left towards a third party here and you're still carrying that with you. It's still difficult to get over because there's still this energy around that you haven't really moved forward Okay, I always explain this to people as well. When we go into hermit mode, we're not just supposed to isolate ourselves and think that everything will get better. We actually have to do the work in letting go. And if you're finding it difficult to let go of things, what happened, that's the release your ex card, you know, about clearing that energy. Time to clear that energy of, you know, letting go. If you let go and let God good things are going to come in for you here. So really make the effort to let go of these sort of energies that are not good for you, not serving any purpose. This could even be people around you always trying to use you. You know, it's, they come, take money, they drain you. Like I said, could even be your children, could be family, friends, another female around you that's bringing you quite a lot of stress, maybe even talking crap about you here um sort of a negative energy maybe they don't mean to be but they are dragging you down sort of thing you know it's like draining you so maybe you're needing to cut these people off or you've already cut them off and you know you really don't want to feel down about it um, because you are making space in your life for new better things to come in if these people are mistreating you you know you don't want to feel sad about it you know try and have faith that better is coming in because I feel like it's more than just um, a love relationship I feel like it could be a lot of people around you that are using you and you know you're 
eyes have opened that, okay, they're my friends when they need me, but they're not my friends when I need them. You know, there's, they're nowhere to be around when I need them. So it could even be like a sister, a friend, auntie, some, something like that. Another female around you here. The strength card. Yeah, you really now... It's good that we see the strength card after the devil card, okay? So it's like we really want to see you regroup yourself, um, gather your strength and fight those sort of inner demons that are telling you, you know... Maybe I'm lonely. Maybe I'll never find somebody. You know, that's the strength card, taming that inner beast. And it shows that you can do it here, okay? You can let go of this burden. You can let go of these people that are not serving you. And you will be okay. You will be strong again here. Like the Queen of Wands reverse could be... Um, I know a lot of people will say, you know, I've got a romantic partner who's narcissistic. This could be another female around you that's narcissistic, right? So it can be a girlfriend, but it may also be, like I said, a sister or somebody like that, maybe even a child, a grown child that's um, doesn't mind using you, draining you, but, you know, is never there for you. So you need to make the effort to let go of this. Um, and I feel like, <clears throat> as we've seen... Somebody wants to come in for you, um, but I feel you're not ready yet. You're just maybe not open to a new romantic relationship yet because you have all this going on. You, you're trying to recuperate. You're trying to get your strength back here after all you've been through, all this toxic energy, all these toxic people around you. You're trying to get your energy back here. Focus on your strengths. So the page of pentacles reverse. So again, can indicate that you're blocking people, cutting people out. Again, indication of a child. And it could be an indication that somebody's blocked you. Um, maybe it's a Virgo treating you like this. Um, if you're a cross watcher. They may have just froze you out. With the um, Page of Pentacles reverse, it could be, like I say, a younger Virgo that froze you out, um, you know, didn't give you any answers, could have left you with a lot of stress, a lot of debt maybe even, a lot of things to do to clean up after them. So it doesn't just mean that Virgo, this has happened to you, it can be that another Virgo has watched, uh, has done this to somebody else, um, because... They just may have been like very stubborn and not wanting to give answers or clean up after themselves even. So it's like there's very stubborn. You could, if you're both like um, earth signs, there could be very stubborn energy between you both. But this person left a whole lot of mess in your life for you to clean up. And you're finding it difficult now to start something new. So maybe even start a new relationship or start new friendships and things like that. It's like they've dropped a lot on you. It could be even that, you know, it made you sink into depression. And not want to go out, not want to clean up, not want to do things. Um, But you do have the strength to do this, okay? It's like this person just froze you out, burnt the bridge and left you to pick up the pieces. The strength card here is reminding you that, you know, you do have the strength to get through this. It's about... I feel maybe that's why Aquarius season might be quite difficult for you because if you might start overthinking, you could sort of slip into this depression if it's negative thinking. Um, and please remember, if you are 
um, a Virgo and you say, I went through this and now I'm feeling great. This reading is, uh, is wrong. No, what you mean is it isn't for you. Maybe one of your fellow Virgos is going through this or a cross watcher. So how about give them some supportive words and say, look, um, you're going to get through this. I went through it. So maybe, you know, you're going to get stronger. You don't have to worry. You know, some encouraging, supportive words, not just negative stuff, because no matter how much you think you've healed when you just um, comment in negative things, you haven't, right? So those who blame others haven't begun to heal. Those who blame themselves have started to heal. Those who blame nobody have healed. The Empress. So again, indication of a mother figure um, or maybe some pregnancies here. But this can be Venus energy as well sort of thing. As we um, move in, you may start to feel a bit better here, I'm feeling. Maybe it's a Scorpio um, that has done this to you. Um, but it doesn't matter about the sign. It's just anybody really. Um, but I feel like maybe quite a dark energy sort of thing just to cut somebody off and you know just leave them at that without any answers it's, it's not fair is it really um so yeah i feel like you'll start to feel better so don't worry about that there is positive times coming even if this person throws you out the more you feel better the more um, positive things will be drawn to you. So positive thinking will bring positive results here. Or maybe a positive pregnancy test. Um, so, yeah, you will have this new beginning that will be good. I feel like there's just delays yet, right? I feel like you're still working through some things and it's because you can't let go maybe that a person cheated on you so now you have trust issues and maybe you can't let go because you you're hoping that they'll come back but they froze you out here so it doesn't mean there won't be a positive beginning it means there's delays while you work through these things maybe there's delays while y your children need your focus at the moment but you will have an amazing new beginning with a past life relationship coming towards you here right it's just showing right now this energy may be a bit tough for you um so the high priestess reverse so you could be feeling a little bit confused and not knowing which way is up and where to start and where to begin but it could be like an abusive pisces for some that has been doing this to you um but with the high priestess here it's like a test that you've been through. And in order to complete the test, you need to let go and trust the divine. Right? And know that you have the strength to overcome these things. So you're going to learn something very valuable from this. How to, you know, um, respect yourself. How to listen to your intuition our test will be our testimony, okay? So don't worry, um, you know, there's no such thing as failing. You're just going to, you're just taking a little bit longer to let go. And that could be the high priestess reverse there, like um, not fully trusting if you let go that maybe this person will come back, not trusting that maybe if you let go of your children that you'll have a life you know, without them, that there's still good things to come in your life here. Could be children asking for money with the Page of Pentacles and draining your resources like that. And you're wondering, will it ever end? Yes, it will. With the Ten of Wands, we, le we need to learn to say no, right? So our children, we don't want to see them go through difficult times, but still their test as well for them will make them stronger here, give them strength as they grow. They learn to deal with their life and how to become a successful adult. So 
page of swords as well now so you could be spying on somebody or somebody could be spying on you trying to get information on what's going on in their life and if you're seeing things online i always tell this as well that you know <laughs> facebook or social media people can you can smile can't you when you're feeling depressed you know fake a smile and deal with the side effects so don't think that everybody who posts pictures are absolutely amazingly happy on social media and your life doesn't seem to be going right it's not the case you know um can you see this little devil on the shoulder and this devil card up here it's like it, you could just be hurting yourself looking at things right even if you're looking at pictures or memories it's like you're just hurting yourself in this energy because you're not getting the right information like i said it could be somebody else trying to watch you and see what's going on in your life i feel like somebody's looking for somebody so it could be maybe a childhood friend that's looking for you as well that you'll meet soon eight of swords there um so yeah it's definitely this feeling stuck and attach you might attach you might have these attachment issues right going on it could stem from childhood a lot of people um can be abandoned as children and things like that so they then develop abandonment issues or even if your mum was just going to work all the time and didn't really have time for you but be careful during Aquarius season about this overthinking you're not stuck um it's a perspective the eight of swords and you need to gather more information need to look at things differently when you do you'll have the hanged man and be enlightened that you know you're not stuck you can let go of this burden you can tell people no and it will be okay okay good luck guys